Well, Kodak is now owned by a private equity firm. What's up? It's Monday. Let's get into the news. I was out of town last week, so I didn't have an opportunity to make this video, but I'm back now. So let's get into it. Check out the video from last Friday where I was discussing what a modern film camera would look like. I've been getting a lot of good comments on that. I would like to address those in a future video. Feel free to share your thoughts there as well. I'd also like to quickly address in the Pentax 17 review video, I had recorded a little bit of an interview with another fellow YouTuber on his thoughts and feelings towards the camera. Didn't really make sense in the final edit, but it was still a fun interview. I might cut something together, put it out for the members. We'll see. But anyway, I just want to link his video down below as well. Check that out. Share some love. Subscribe to the channel. He did a great job. And I really do appreciate him hopping on a call with me. Apologize for it not making it into the edit. Now with that out of the way, let's jump into the news. So Kodak. The company everyone knows about, it's the reason that film really exists right now, sold recently, but not really. So there's two companies, technically. When you think Kodak, you might think of Kodak Moments, I think it's called. And Kodak Moments is the branch of Kodak that produces all the film, does all of the chemicals and all that stuff. There's another company called Kodak Alaris. And Kodak Alaris, so far as I understand, was created because of one of Kodak's many bankruptcies. So that's cool. Kodak Alaris was acquired by Kingswood Capital. I'm going to have to look off the notes a lot for this video because there's a lot going on. So bear with me. Kodak Alaris announced that Kingswood Capital Management acquired the company from the United Kingdom Pension Protection Fund or the PPF. So the United Kingdom United Kingdom Pension Protection Fund had acquired Alara in one of the many bankruptcies that Kodak had. So that was kind of the appeasement of like, hey, we can't pay these debts or something, so here's a large portion of the company. I'm guessing. And I went to film school. If you don't know what a private equity firm is, that's okay, because I don't really either. But I looked into it for about two seconds, so I can speak with some confidence here that I now know what they are, kind of. There's another term that's kind of similar to private equity that you've probably heard more of because it's a little bit more of a colloquial term, but venture capital. Now, venture capital groups basically jump in on companies as they're starting out, and they invest in these companies in the hope that one day they reach a level of success that they can get a return on investment. Private equity groups do a similar thing. They buy more into pre-existing companies. There's also some speculation as to the current housing market being how it is because of private equity firms, but I don't really understand that and nor do I really want to. This is for film photography. This isn't a business channel. I might look into it because it's kind of interesting. Not going to get into that. On August 1st, I believe it was, uh, Lars came out with a press release discussing their new sale or acquisition by this other group called Kingswood Capital. It has a lot of properties, a lot of investments, a lot of fingers in different pies, primarily in moderate retail. I think they have a large stake in a Canadian based climbing mountaineering company. We can go off their website really quickly and get an idea of their portfolio. Covenant Testing Technologies LLC, G Fuel Energy Formula. I think that's like the uh, gamer gamer fuel stuff. Um, Lind Marine, which is a dredging barge and tug service. Mountain Equipment Company, like I mentioned. MEC. A fragrance outlet. Perfumania. Patco Products. is uh, Developing, manufacturing emulsifiers. Texture binding chemical agent with decades of historical applications across a diverse range of food and non-discriminating consumer. And, okay, Progress Lighting. Save Mart Companies, which is a California-based grocer that operates approximately 200. Save Mart, Lucky California, and Food Max stores, grocery store conglomerate that they own a lot of stake in or something like that, Censure, SSG, Versaire, Turbo Wholesale Tires, and World Market. The more notable things that Kingswood owns and now Alaris, Kodak Alaris, what have you. It might not be the worst news in the world, but what I will say is that currently Kingswood Capital Management does have a 1.4 rating on Google reviews. Uh, most of those ratings seem to be in relation to the grocery store acquisition and 
horrible company, ruining lives to make a buck should be their motto. I'm angry that this company bought Save Mart in February. Um, but da, 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 investment company. Uh, I would highly recommend not spending money with this company or even its subsidiaries. They take absolutely no care with what they're doing. Absolutely ruined world market. Horrible company with horrible people running it. Helping run Save Mart and Food Max into the ground. Hours cut from 40 to 28 hours. Totally clueless. Save Mart pharmacy employees and customers should sue Kings with Carbon Monocle. This is a disgrace. I'm boycotting all Save Mart and Lucky stores. Please stop ruining Save Mart so on and so forth there's one ten or one five star rating with nothing in there and then actually two there are two five star ratings from two years ago and 10 months ago which i think are bringing up the average to 1.4 but everything i read and all but those two are uh one star ratings with a couple that are saying i wish this could be zero that's great <laughs> there's been a lot of concern because private equity has kind of become now like the this is a bad thing moniker and so to a lot of the film photography community they're like oh no kodak is now being bought out by a private equity firm that's not great to which i would tend to agree however it's kodak alaris and there's a big difference like i said they split so kodak moments is the one that's producing all of the film kodak alaris i'm reading up on their site now and honestly uh all <laughs> I'll come clean to y'all, this makes no sense to me. Essentially, they are helping optimize the information you receive based on your business practice, all that stuff, and giving you accurate assessments of what you need to do to increase marketing capability, all that stuff. A lot of like corporate jargon talk and we're just looking at the market and being like, oh, this is what you should do, helping bring your business up to the next level. I don't really know what Kingswood is seeing in Kodak Alaris where like, we want to invest in you, I'm not entirely sure. They might be looking to try to up those Google reviews. I think that might be a good first step. But ultimately, I don't really know what this means for Kodak or for the film photography community as a whole. My hope, my thought with this is that a private equity firm viewing Kodak as, or even Kodak Alaris, what have you, as a viable purchasing option means that there's some value in it, which would be great because it'd be great if the you know, film photography made sense financially for people to invest in that's fantastic i hope that's what's being communicated i hope that that's what's happening i'm not entirely sure but anyway i don't think at all that this is going to have any negative repercussions on film production i could be wrong but i just think because they're two different companies i don't think that that's going to have any ramification on that so in a statement from both the president of kodak moments and the president of kodak alaris business unit they basically said the investment by Kingswood Capital is a clear endorsement of the enduring value of our offerings and a testament to our team's hard work. We are delighted to have secured the backing of new owners who share a vision to the, for the future of our business. We look forward to starting this new chapter guided by Kingswood's robust operational expertise. Pension Protection Fund expresses satisfaction in having reached an outcome beneficial for all parties, including the employees and stakeholders of Kodak Alaris. Then the... Uh, managing partner of Kingswood. His name's Alex Wolf, which is a pretty, pretty sick name. I gotta say, um, not as cool as Alex King, but you know, Alex Wolf, it's pretty cool, I guess, you know, whatever. The company's named Kingswood. So I bet you wish you were called Alex King, but Alex Wolf said at Kingswood, our goal is to help companies reach their full potential by providing capital, bolstering its operations and identifying avenues to achieve growth. We're excited to help continue Kodak Alars to strong recent performance and momentum. He also went on to, er, then Andrew Kovac, managing director at Kingswood said, we are thrilled to partner with Kodak Moments and Kodak Alars business unit management teams and global employee base. So there's a little bit of concern there because you did mention we're thrilled to partner with both companies. Could be a slip of the tongue, could be a misnomer or whatever, but that would be my only concern is if the Kodak Moments side, you know, gets bought into or gets like influenced by this private equity firm or by any private equity firm or by any like 
I don't know. There's just the businessy type. I went on a rant about this a little bit ago, but just like looking at the the market share that Kodak has, borderline monopolized uh, the film photography community, and I'm sure that they have whatever agreements with like Cinestill, Mammography, and all those sorts of things in order to not raise the prices of what they're distributing too much. Whatever, whatever. I don't know the fine details because it's just not really my my avenue there I went to film school but if somebody comes in and it's like hey you can change all these things or whatever that might throw the whole market askew so ultimately where it stands now Kodak Alaris being acquired might not be the worst thing in the world it's kind of might be a nothing burger in terms of news for the film photography community but a portion of Kodak did sell which is interesting or was acquired and even though it's just kind of it seems like based on the website Kodak Alaris is more based upon just providing information for businesses in terms to optimize whether it's marketing strategies or increase profitability whatever it's a part of Kodak and Kodak is in the name, I guess, so I thought it might be worth talking about. This might also lead to other companies, again, making similar investments because they're recognizing like, oh, Kodak is now a profitable brand. It's being bought into by a relatively large private equity firm, albeit with a very low Google review rating. So maybe Kodak Moments gets bought up and then maybe what we fear to happen is true where they're like, oh, we can raise the prices of this because there's no competition. But that being said, Fuji is starting to develop film in China. So maybe that will change things as well. There's a lot to really discuss there and a lot to really get into. So who knows, really? Who knows what any of this means? All this to be said, yes, Kodak has been now acquired by a private equity firm. But no, I don't think that that will necessarily affect film photography sales or film photography prices. I could be wrong because I, I could be wrong. But I think based on the information that we have... I think we're fine. I think it's all good. I'm very curious to see if Kingswood actually manages to affect any positive change on Kodak Alaris's, you know, but we'll see. Kodak is sold now to a private equity firm, or at least part of it. Very little ramifications I foresee on the film photography community, but again, it is something interesting, you know, fun little trivia fact for you. And private equity firms, are they good or are they bad? I don't know. Not really for me to discuss. I think it's kind of lame that house pricing and property pricing had blown up over the last few years. But again, I think all of it is super speculative and based really upon no sense of value anymore except for what people perceive it to be value, which changes seemingly at random, which is great. It's my take on finances, and I'm not very smart, so don't listen to what I'm saying. But I do appreciate you all watching. Thank you. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy it. Like the video as well. If you liked it, leave a comment down below what you think or what I got wrong, because I'm sure in this 10-15 minutes of rambling, I probably got some stuff wrong. Also, quick shout out to the members of the channel, the Bronco Buddies. Our lovely names right here. Join the channel for just a low price of $2.99 a month. You get exclusive access to videos, early access to other videos, and also the opportunity to help me figure out what it is I'm going to talk about in these Monday news segments or other topics that I'm going to discuss. And then in other news, because I have now 5,000 subscribers, 500 videos. What I think I'm gonna do with my new setup that I have here is I'm gonna be working on redoing some of the older videos that I've made. A lot of the walkthroughs of how does this camera work? How do you get it to work? And then some of the older repair stuff because I have a little bit better audio equipment and I wanna start utilizing that just to make my content look a little bit better. Cause some of those older videos kind of shock. So I wanna go back through, date them, make them a little bit more viewable for people. In the process, I might do a little bit more stuff like this where I discuss the larger finances of the film market because it is kind of interesting to get into. And there's not that many companies, so it shouldn't take too long to like dive into the specifics of all of them and share that information with you and or just give you guys the really comforting sound of my voice droning on about business jargon that I could not understand any less. So with all that being said, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future droning, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.